Welcome to Cunningham Piano. I'm Hugh Sung. I'm Tim Oliver. And I'm Rich Gallicini. And guys, I am going to Vienna next week. How cool is that? I'm so excited. I've been invited my good friend, international flute superstar Jasmine Choi. Oh, she's great. Yeah, she's phenomenal. We've had a couple of videos of her in our factory, mm -hmm. yeah? So you're doing some recording. I'm doing some recording, doing some performing. Guys, I've never been to Vienna. First thing. Yeah. You gotta have extra time. Have you provided extra time? I, I did schedule awesome. a little bit of extra time kind of at the end of our recording session. So guys, you have been to Vienna. Yeah, right? we both spent time. Okay, and I, I, so tell me, what can I expect? What should I do while I'm there? Can I go first? Yeah, sure. All Please. right, very good, awesome. Please. So first of all, we've gotta set up a t factory tour. You've got to go to the Busendorfer factory. And you know, the funny thing is, I'm going to be recording on a Busendorfer 280VC, Vienna Concert oh. Piano. I am so excited. Oh, yeah. Now, Vienna is the home, obviously, of the world's, one of the world's greatest pianos, the Busendorfer. Ooh. Yes. So we're sitting in front of, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so, not only that, but Vienna is the capital of classical music. If we look at the time before there was recording technology, the only way to hear a musician would be to go there in person. Mm -hmm. And this was the wealthiest place in all of Europe. Um, so musicians collected there. Just about every major composer or musician lived there and experienced the Bosendorfer sound. You know, Tim, you shared something with me that was told to you, I think, by Jan Juracek von Armen. Yeah, yeah. He had said that uh, when you're walking the streets of Vienna and you are listening to the people walking around you, you're hearing the church bells, uh, wooden heels uh, click clopping on the cobblestone streets, uh, wind coming around the you know, different street corners. You are hearing the same sounds that Mozart, Beethoven, Strauss, all these greats heard those same sounds. Now you alluded to this a little bit. I was going to ask the question, why did so many of classical music's most important composers, why were they drawn to this amazing city. I think you had mentioned it was certainly one of the wealthiest cities. Were there some other reasons that this became such, such a, a, a magnet city for the great arts? You go. Well, you know, <laughs> geographically centrally located on the continent, you know, juggernaut musicians are attracted to unbelievable instruments as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. And you know, Ignaz Bosendorfer set up his shop in 1828. Mm -hmm. So uh, there were uh, wonderful pianos to play. And the Habsburg dynasty was centered right there. Uh, so uh, there are palaces that they had left over that you'll want to go see. This is why the imperial model of Bosendorfer is called the imperial, because the Habsburg dynasty uh, took it on as their favorite instrument, the biggest, the most wonderful, the most luxurious piano you could have, right? I'm so so excited. every other royal family on the continent, if they wanted to keep up with the Habsburgs, they had, <laughs> had to have an imperial. Um, but In addition to that, it's really a city of music. The last time I was there, I spent the holidays there. So my family and I went there the day after Christmas and stayed through New Year's and after. Every day and every night, there were several recitals, concerts, mm. operas, and every one that I went into was packed yeah, with people that love music. Pretty much every night of the week, yeah. right? It's just a remarkable place for live music. Mm. And wouldn't you love to be in a, in a building and look out on the view that Mozart looked out on when he was composing? Be in the same apartment where Beethoven lived. Go, to, go and see where Richard, Richard Strauss lived, where Haydn lived. That's fantastic stuff. R real quick, um, I was in the Mozart house, mm -hmm. and we were in the basement, and there's a the Busenhofer Salon. Uh, where there's a little recital area, and they brought in Paul Bedora Skoda. Oh, wow. And I'm with maybe 30 people, and I finally got Wi-Fi. <laughs> so I'm there, I'm looking at my phone, and there's Paul Bedora Skoda, who plays this wonderful uh, Mozart piece for us. And I notice there's a question from one of my friends who's understudying the role of Tomino that I'm doing, and he's asking me where in the score of Magic Flute I'm going to be making a choice of whatever. And I'm thinking, my God. I'm in Mozart's house <laughs> where Magic Flute was composed, listening to Paul Bedora Skoda play Mozart, and I just got a question. <laughs> so cool. I mean, that, wow. how does that happen? So, you know, this is, this is a very special time. I'm really excited about it. And what I want to really pick your brains on, maybe each of you could give me just a few things that you recommend that I go see. And I'm going to do my best while I'm on 
the road to mm -hmm. bring my camera with me, to bring my equipment, and try to film as many of your suggested spots to go to. So um, maybe think of a, an important musical place to go to. You mentioned the Mozart House, oh, yeah. so we'll take that as, as one of the things. Um, maybe you guys could list a few musical places that I really need to go visit, sure. as well as a good place to eat, a good place to drink, and mm. something else interesting. So, Rich, why don't you give me sure. a, your top the first thing? Yeah. The first thing that you cannot miss yeah. is the Museum of the Historic Musical Instruments. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, cool. I've spent days there. I could go back there and spend an entire week. It's fantastic. Mm. Okay. I got to actually touch the piano, piano, that Mozart and Clementi battled on. And oh, they, that's and, so cool. And it ha they hated each other after this exchange. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and the piano is there in this, in this museum. Wow. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so, the world's yeah. oldest Bösendorfer is in that museum, built mm -hmm. in 1828. And didn't you hear a recital on that piano? Am uh, I confusing this? Um, which one was it again? The oldest Bösendorfer, built in uh, no, 1828. No, I, I, I didn't get to, to hear it. it. It wasn't in that kind of shape. I see. But I, I did get to spend time taking it apart. Now, the one thing is, we've both been to Vienna multiple times. We've never been there together. No. At some point, we've got to do that. <laughs> right. But OK, so back, let, back let, to Let's meet him. So the historic museum. Food. OK. Demos. What are Demels? Well, Demels is the place, okay. but it okay. is, it is uh, one of the most famous uh, patissiers uh, where you can get uh, all kinds of desserts. Oh, and, okay. And uh, the Hotel Soccer for Soccer Tour would be another oh, place. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. We, yeah. We've actually ordered locally made soccer tours for some mm -hmm. of our evening in Vienna events here, but I get to go to the soccer hotel where they originated that dessert. Okay, good, all right. And one last thing would yeah. be to tour the Opera House. Okay, sure, sure, Oh, sure, yeah. Sure. Yeah, that, that'll take a couple hours, but it's an amazing tour. So, Tim, some of your suggestions. Well, one of my favorite memories, it wasn't in your suggestions there, but uh, uh, you get to rent a bicycle and bike around the Altstadt. There used to be um, you know, walls. It was a walled city for a while. Those walls are gone. Very big boulevard that just circles. And uh, you, can, you can rent a bike and just spend an hour or two and go around the Altstadt. Oh, okay, cool. That's, that's on my list of cool oh, things to try. What else? wonderful. Okay. Um, the one thing I didn't do, mm -hmm. and you should try, okay. Go to the Klimt Museum. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and tying in with Bosenreffer. Bosenreffer has a special Klimt model with mm -hmm. uh, one of his portraits on the underside of it. But uh, I regret not getting there. That's so. a great call. Good yeah. One. Good one. Something to eat? Something to drink? Oh, well, what was that wine you said? Oh, a, a, a Grüne Veltliner. Yeah, okay. so that's their famous wine. It's oh, seasonal. Okay. You have to have it there. We can order it here. We can have it here. But you're supposed to have it there. Okay. All right, you know, right. that's, that's important. Okay. And um, in the old city... You can walk down any one of the Strasse and have local pubs okay. um, where you can get some really great goulash, great coffee, they maybe a, a drink. A bone marrow soup. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that was, that was a highlight. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Any other goodie food-wise? Because I'm a bit of a foodie. <laughs> any other food suggestions? We've got this, soccer tour. We've got bone marrow soup. There's a lot of things to be had. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's an adventure. Yeah. Just... Try everything. <laughs> well, well, I really appreciate both of you taking the time. You guys have been to Vienna many, many more times. And I actually want to open it up to all of our uh, subscribers, too, and folks who are watching this video. If you've been to Vienna, or if you are in Vienna now, and you have some recommendations on what I should see, what I should visit, try, taste, be sure to put them in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to add them on my Vienna bucket list. OK? So I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah good. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, uh, listen, guys. Thank you so much, and thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know as I post some updates on my Vienna trip vlog. So, Hugh, yeah. I will reach out to a few musicians that we know in Vienna. Cool. Okay. And hopefully you can hook up with somebody who might even be able to point you towards yeah. the best local pub, in their opinion, the best local coffee house. I'm so excited. Very cool. Hey, thanks so much for watching. For Cunningham Piano, I'm Hugh Sung. I'm Tim Oliver. And I'm Rich Galassini. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in Vienna. <laughs>